Over what? Over what? No acting, just normal person. Oh, Peter Weller is completely phoning this shit in, dog. Like, it's the original voice actor, but, like, he is not trying. <laughs> like, remember that spot where Robocop tore everybody up with an Uzi? Me either. Remember to wish list this shit, boys. This shit better be like $20. Like, honestly. Like, they got Peter Weller to do the voice of Robocop in the game, right? That had to be most of the budget. That had to be most of the budget. Like, like I've never seen a more lifeless acting than what I just witnessed. And this is the shit they do to sell this game, right? I'm a motherfucking Robocop fan. Like, I love Peter Weller with Robocop. Robocop 1, Robocop 2. So, that's my fucking childhood, right? Yeah, that combat looked clunky as fuck, right? Like, it's like these dudes out here sitting out here. Like, let, let, me, let me put it out here like this. Here's how, you, here's how a normal person would do it. No acting, just normal person. Be like, hey, Bailey, what are you doing? That baby girl, Bailey... This is what this motherfucker did and got paid to do it. Look here. This shit looks like this. It's like, Bailey, I have your attention. Bailey, come here, please. Like, it's, like this dude was in Screamers, dog. How was this motherfucker in Screamers, Leviathan? This is Peter fucking Weller. He's an Hollywood A-list actor. And this is the, sh like, like he completely phoned it in. They must have gave this motherfucker, like, Burger King coupons or some shit to do this role. Like, he was not in it at all. Like, let's go back again. Can you guys hear the, can you guys hear the dialogue? Listen again. On the arcade staff, we'll sell to you. Drugs in the basement. I will take care of that. Open the door. I have the warrant. Upsy. I think I dropped my key somewhere. Surrender your weapons. No chance. Finally. Trash can. Fucking trash can. Like. I understand he's supposed to be robotic, but, like, that's not how RoboCop sounded in the fucking movies, right? RoboCop was very, like, direct. He'd be like, dead or alive, you're coming with me. Dead then. You know, it's like he was he was witty and the whole nine. I, I mean, I can show you what he sounded like in the movie. Let's just put RoboCop talking. This is a bad example. This is when he was, like, messing with my OCP. This isn't very nice. Though you may think you're having... I can't show the scene. Only hurt the one you love. Think of mom and dad. What kind of lesson are you teaching them? And now, a word on nutrition. Shit. Bad language makes for bad feeling. The point is, <laughs> we all have to work. I haven't finished. Hit the gas, Murphy. We should set an example, Anne. Your hair looks lovely that way. Did I have any old Robocop toys? No, no. But I remember, like, watching Robocop as a kid. Because, like, the scene in the first Robocop where, like, they killed Alex Murphy, like Clarence Boddicker did. Like, that shit fucked me up as a kid. I was, like, five. And I remember going over to my daddy's house and, like, he rented the movie for us. And I remember seeing that shit. It was like... 
you know, it's like shit. That that that's some like to me. I know it's I know there's more hardcore shit out there, but like in my head, that's some of the hardcore shit I've ever they've ever put to film that they allowed to be in the theaters. Yeah, there's no gameplay. <clears throat> idiots in cars it's hard to decipher something to react to because like most of the shit i watch is like cop shit and like i've tried to get myself back out of it but like youtube like once you watch one they they show you like a billion others and you're like oh clickbait 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 do a conway car chase there's really never been i'm sure there's been a car chase in conway before but there's not very many making another count doesn't doesn't do anything man like if you make another account and get banned on another account you're only allowed to have one youtube account like so like then you were considered ban invading even if you get back on your main account like te- theoretically anything on youtube should be watched because anybody can watch it publicly right but you know it is what it is the auditor shit like man the auditor shit's trash like i hate those kind of videos where like a guy's like you know just goes there just to express his rights i don't know like I understand that you know you give up you 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 that the police are supposed to do things a certain way, but I also understands why they do things other ways. For example, like you ever see like a cop come up and won't tell you what you did wrong until he gets your license, and the reason they do that is because if you gun it, they know who they know who they were talking to, right? That's the reason they they wait till they they um they get your license before they gun it before before they tell you what you did wrong <clears throat> but on the on the flip side of things right like if you hand your license over and they're bullshitting it allows them to bullshit easier right so like there's there's give and take in every kind of scenario it, it isn't until you see a cop is bullshitting you should you should you start with the whole like you know recording and all that other mess that's a lie no that's not a lie that come that's come strictly from like people in my family that are in police like they touch the, they touch the back end of your car so they have a physical reference so that if you were to like shoot them or something like that your fingerprints were on their car so they can so they physically could show that you were they were there um they generally ask for your id before they tell you anything because if you were like to start like just turn the car on and just gun it they know who they were talking to so they don't have to chase you probably going to chase you but like regardless they know who you are i used to be a cop honestly I've seen that you've seen that YouTube video too. I don't I don't know about that. I understand that if you haven't committed a crime, they have no reason to ID. And like it is, it is what it is. It, like you should take everything with a grain of salt. Like sometimes just because you have a right doesn't mean you got to exercise that right. You know what I'm saying? Like there's some that that gets my blood boiling. I watched one the other day, and uh, because and it, I, I guess it made me upset because I've done this shit myself, right? I have a I have a Chevy Silverado truck. My and back then I had a Chevy Silverado. Too. I had an O2 Silverado Z71. It was uh, it was maroon in color. It was actually called Carmine Red Tint Coat or some shit like that. But it was a dark red truck. And, um, so like there's very few dark red Chevy pickup trucks. So like I was at Walmart, I I went out to Walmart and I wasn't paying attention. I was looking in my pocket for my keys and I walked up to my truck and somebody with a truck almost exactly like mine, um, was parked near mine, you know, same color, extended cab, Z71. There were differences, but like you wouldn't notice it unless you were paying attention. So I, I was like looking, I was literally looking at my keys. It was at night. I reached up, grabbed the handle and the door was unlocked. I ended up getting in the man truck before I realized like this ain't mine so I literally got out closed the door and walked away and looked for my truck right so like that's an honest mistake right his door just happened to be unlocked at the time well the reason I'm telling you this is because like this guy was at like this guy was like picking up somebody at a car rider like line and um, he went in his mom and dad had this white SUV with like chrome handles how many white SUVs with chrome handles are there out there millions millions of the millions of it right and he pulled on the handle and it didn't unlock and the woman got scared and called the police because some random guy pulled on the handle of her car didn't get in didn't do anything he realized he was at the wrong car walks back finds the right car so um <clears throat> they call the cops and the cops come out and they he hands them he like hands them the id and they ask him to like well they ask him for his id and he has to go into his pocket so they ask him for any weapons and he goes do you have any weapons on he goes i don't know i might have a pocket knife but i'm unsure about it and so like he's going through his pockets and he finds a pill of some sort who knows what the fucking pill is right so the pill he takes he takes the pill and pops it right into his mouth right in front of the cops and the cops like what'd you just do 
And like they literally grab this man and pull him out the car right then and there. No questions asked. And they start wrestling on the ground. 2v1. And one cop says, oh, he's grabbing my stuff. He's grabbing my stuff. You know, and then they shoot the man three times right there. Right at, like, like literally there's like little kids and all the other shit off to the side. That literally shoot the man three times. Don't know what he put in his mouth. Obviously on video he didn't grab for his stuff. And they shot the man dead right there in the fucking like car rider line. I would have been so fucking mad. If I was that kid. Because his dad and his mom was there too. Right? Like. Like. And like. They they took that surprisingly well. Because I would have went to jail that day. Because I would have been so fucking irate. <laughs> I can't. You won't believe me how mad. How much shit I would be talking to a cop that shot my son dead over taking something. I don't even give a fuck if he took Oxycontin that, was, that he bought from somebody else right there in front of the police. You don't have to escalate it like that. Yeah, his mom was like literally sitting in the passenger seat of the car. He was in he was in the back passenger seat of the car. And literally, like she could look down and watch her son dying. And it's like, I'm like, wow. Like I would, I would be shaking. They would, they would have to send me to jail to that day too. Cause like it would take everything in my body not to get my ass beat by the cops that day. Cause I would be ready to bounce. I'd be so ready to bounce, son. It doesn't matter. Just sue them. Who gives a fuck about suing? You killed my fucking son. Over what? Over what? A, a drug charge? If, if that, I don't know what he popped in his mouth. Right, but like, let's say it's the worst case scenario. You literally just shot a guy over a drug charge. That's the worst part about it. You know, the the worst part about it is the dude that shot the kid. He got a purple heart because during the during the um, during the scuffle, he hurt his thumb. Like during the scuffle, he hurt his fucking thumb, and he gets a purple heart. So they reward this man for shooting a uh, shooting this guy to death in a school and like when after they shot him they didn't do anything you know what they did they handcuffed the motherfucker like he's got like like you know a dude shot in his chest three fucking times is going to be a fucking major threat like he's about to he's about to do a fucking nip up and do a karate kick like some jet lee shit <laughs> you know i don't know i hate that shit man i fucking hate that shit <laughs>